Today we'll be talking about posting. The objectives of this video or this lecture is number one to explain accounting principles and practices related to posting. Number two, arrange accounts for a small service business in a chart of accounts. And number three, to post amounts from general journal amount column or general amount columns of a general journal. Introduction The financial position of a business for a specific date is shown on a balance sheet. As transactions occur, the balances of accounts listed on a balance sheet change. Therefore, its business transaction changes the financial position of a business. And to keep track of these changes, we have to know the transaction for each of the account and that's what we're going to do with posting arranging accounts in a ledger accounts in a ledger are arranged the same as they will appear on financial reports because the order is the same information from the ledger accounts is easily transferred to financial statements so the usual arrangement is number one we have assets then number two liabilities then three capital now this first three can be found on a balance sheet then number four and five we have revenues and expenses and number four and five can be found on income statement that's why they're arranged this way ledger for some businesses have more than five divisions some business use more than two digit account numbers So here's an example now of a chart of account. So we have uh, grouped them by five. So the first are the assets. And you can see that the assets are numbered for the first digit of the num account number of assets starts with one. And then for liabilities, it starts with two and so on. So capital, revenue, and expenses. Now, after we have seen or after we have the chart of accounts, we can now start doing our ledger. So for each ledger, we have to pull up place, we have to arrange the accounts according to uh, those divisions, assets, liabilities, capital, uh, revenue, and expenses. So here, we can see here, we have here the assets. So based on the chart of accounts, we have here cash, so that's the account title and then on the right side we have the account number and then of course at the start of a accounting cycle we have to place the initial balance for of each the account especially for the assets and also liabilities and capital so since assets uh, the balance for assets is debit so we have here we place here the balances of the assets so we have cash supplies golf equipment and maintenance equipment and then we have free the account number and placed here are the balances and here we have the liabilities so we have two account titles for liabilities and we have account number 21 and 22 and you notice that the balance now is on the credit side since uh, the balance for liabilities is actually on the credit side. The next we have the capital. So we have Harry Rossi capital. So 3 1 and then again capital is on the right side. Drawing usually can be set or reset to zero at the start of a cycle. So we have ledger. So uh, no balances because usually we start or we have to reset the values at the start of an account of an accounting cycle and then we have here expenses so we have the account titles and account numbers okay so this is how an account in a ledger appears so we have here actually on the left side here is a debit side so this part is a debit side and on this part will be the credit side that's why if you're going to look at 
these two sides they are actually identical except for in this part we place your debit and on this part we help you the credit now posting so this is how we do, uh, this is usually what we do with accounting first the information will be coming from a source document like receipts or other documents and from the receipt we have to record the transaction now in a general journal so we have done that on the previous chapter or previous lecture then after the general journal we have to post this uh, transactions in a ledger so more or less these are the steps again from the source document recorded to a general journal and then from general journal to a ledger so here's an example now of uh, transactions recorded in a general journal and you notice uh, I place here the account titles of each account here and you'll see later what we're going to do with this account so assuming that these are the transactions now let's try to examine the first transaction where in cash was debited with the amount of 5,000 and maintenance equipment was credited also 5,000 so both are actually assets so what we're going to do after this transaction we can post them now to the ledger so we have here cash so it's debited that's why we place the value 5000 on the debit side we also place the date and we place here g1 meaning that this transaction can be found on the general journal so g general journal page one okay and maintenance equipment is credited also with the amount of 5000 so in our ledger for the maintenance account we place 5000 so november 1 2020 g1 5000 on the credit side and that is how we post transactions let's take a look now at the second transaction so in this transaction Sassoon supply company is debited amounting to 20,000 and cash is credited amounting to 20,000 so how do we post this so as we can see Sassoon supply company we have here again the same date November 1 so again on G1 20,000 it is debited so it is placed on the debit side and then cash is on the credit side so we have now to place that transaction or post that transaction on the credit side of this account so November 1 G1 and then we have here 20,000 now for transaction number three so for transaction number three cash is debited amounting to 12,500 and sales is credited amounting to 12,500 so how do we post this so again we look for the cash account and then since it is debited we place the value 12,500 on the debit side so we have here November 2 2020 G1 12,500 sales is on the credit side so we place sales so again the date November 2 G1 and then 12,500 on the credit side so you have to post that on the sales account transaction number four so we have here rent expense is debited amounting to 10,000 and cash is credited amounting to 10,000 so for us to post this you have to look for the rent expense account and then place a date November 3 G1 and then again the amount 10,000 so it should be on the debit side then cash again you post cash 
So just place below the below this transaction. So November three, G one amounting to ten thousand. So this is the debit side, and then so this is a debit, and this is the credit values. Transaction number five. So in this in this transaction, cash was debited amounting to fifty thousand. And Harry Rossi Capital is credited to fifty thousand. So how do we post cash? We post cash on the debit side of the cash account. So November three, G one, fifty thousand. And we post the capital account to Harry Rossi Capital on the credit side. So November three, we have here fifty thousand. Transaction number six. So supplies is debited amounting to five thousand, and cash is credited amounting to five thousand. So November four. So how do we post this? So on the supplies account, on the debit side, we place a date G one and then five thousand, and on the cash account. So since this credited, we're going to post that on the credit side. So we have here on November four, twenty twenty, G one, and then we have here five thousand. Transaction number seven. So for transaction number seven, utility expense is debited amounting to two thousand five hundred, and then cash is credited amounting to two thousand five hundred. So we have to locate the utilities expense account and then post the values. So we have here November five, G one two thousand five hundred, and then on the cash account we locate the values and then we place in November five to the twenty G one also two thousand five hundred. So this time on the credit side because cash here is credited. Transaction number eight. So for transaction number eight. Maintenance equipment also is on the debit side, amounting to to twenty five thousand, and cash is credited, amounting to twenty five thousand. So to post this again, locate the maintenance equipment account, and then place twenty five thousand on the debit side. So for cash here, locate the cash account, and then place twenty five thousand on the credit side. Transaction number nine. So we have here Harry Rossi Drawing, and then that's debited to ten thousand, and then cash is credited to ten thousand. Again, we locate that account. So Harry Rossi Drawing, and then place your ten thousand on the debit side. And for cash, again locate the cash account, and post these values on the credit side. So we have in November six G one ten thousand transaction number ten. So miscellaneous expense is debited amounting to eight thousand, and then cash is credited amounting to eight thousand. So again, you have to locate the miscellaneous expense account, and then place the value eight thousand on the debit side. For cash, since it is on the credit side. Again, locate the cash account and then post the value eight thousand on the credit side. So that's now the day. Uh, these are the examples in posting transactions recorded from the general journal to a general ledger. Thank you.